Hello and welcome. My name is Watson Gimata and this channel is about big data and data intensive applications. This video is an introduction to the full text search feature available on Microsoft SQL Server. Full text search is a feature that users and applications can use to run queries against natural language or character based data in SQL Server tables. By the end of this video, you will be able to do the following. You will know how to install and set up the full text search on a given table. You will learn how to search for the different form of a word. Let's say you want to search for a word in a plural or singular form, or you want to find a verb in all of, his, of the conjugations form. You can also search for words starting with a specific text or even search for synonyms of a word. Let's start by setting up the full text search using SQL Server Management Studio. Now let's see how to use the full text indexing wizard in SQL Server Management Studio to create a full text index. First, right click on the table you want to define a full text index on. Scroll down to full text index and then click on full on define full text index. The full text indexing wizard start then we click on next. The first thing to do is to select a unique index. In this drop down list you have all unique indexes already defined on this table. I will for this demo I will pick the first one. This is a unique index defined on the product ID column of the product table. For best performance, it's best to use a clustered index. Also, it's best to use an index defined on a column of type integer or big integer. Then we click on next. Here, we select all columns you want to be eligible for full text queries. So let's say we want to search our product by name and by product number. Then we click on next. Here you must choose how changes to your table should be reflected in your full text index. We leave everything as default so the changes will be automatically managed by SQL Server. Then we click on next. Here we must select a full text catalog to which our full text index should belong. A full text catalog is a logical concept to manage full text indexes. So a full text index can belong only to one full text catalog, but a full text catalog can have many full text indexes. Also, if the table is a very large one, it's best to create a, a full text catalog only for the full text indexes. You can create a full text catalog by selecting this box then you have to give a name and then decide if you want to take accents into account or not by selecting accent insensitive or accent sensitive I already have a full text catalog on my database so I will just pick this one and leave everything else as default we don't need to define a population schedule so we leave everything as default and go to next now we click, you can review everything here if you want, but I will just then click to finish and your full text index will be created and populated. 
now it read the full text index has been created and should be now and is now available for full text queries so next we will see how we can then write full text queries against a table which has full text index enabled on now let's start writing some full text queries we will start with the predicate contains so write queries that match words or phrases let's see how this work we are in visual in sql server management studio we are going to write first write a query to find our product that contains the word mountain and the name column so we have here are the column the name first let's check if we already have full text search on this table okay there you can see let's look at the property the columns okay you can check for you can write queries that match color name or product number so here we are We can use the predicate contains with the where clause. So now we want to find every product that has the name that has the word con the word mountain in their name. So now we input our where contains here. The column name is this. We enter the column name and then enter the term we are searching for this is mountain so let's run this now as you can see we got all product with mountain in the name color now we can see that the result set contain 94 rows but we can further constrain restrict what is returned the contains predicate can be used together with logical operator like and not and or let's take a look at how we can use it let's say we want to find all product containing the word mountain and and not silver let's say silver so we got here ours we are going to use the same query as before now here we can then mountain and now we can input and not silver here and this should return all rows co that contains mountain but not silver there we go now we only have 64 rows returned we can also use the all here like this and we get all rows containing mountain or silver which i guess is the same now we have 95 rows which means there is one row in there without the word mountain and you can see it here paint silver does not contain the word mountain but it contains only the word silver that's how that's what it's written here so this is how you can use logical operators with the counting with the content close so next we will see how we can use uh, parameters with the contents close 
this means when you are writing application you usually have a user interface where where the user enter the search term and then you then push the search term down down to your search engine and uh, usually it's a parameter you get from the user input and then passed it down so let's see how we can use parameters with the contains clause this is not complicated so first we will declare a normal declare a parameter let's call it uh, our search term search term of type and var correct da let's say never trust user input but for demonstration purpose let's do it like this now we can write a query to find all products that have the search term in their description so let's say select description from production from product description now where contains the table you want to query and now our search term so now the user will, will enter a term a search term like mountain our web application will put get this term and send it down to sql server and and this will, will then be our search term we will then pass the term to our let's say we have a stop procedure or a function to perform the search and then it will then pass down so let's say we are looking for a search term let's stick to mountain now there we go the search term was declared the search term then get initialized we then pass it as a normal constant so the contains predicate and we got our result so till now it, all queries we have been writing was to were running against one single column but you can also write queries that runs against multiple columns let's see how this works we will be querying the table product to find product by name and color so let's see how this works uh, select product id name and color from production product where contains now to enter a column list first you need the parentheses and then you put your column list in there so you want to query the column name and the column color close the parentheses and then enter the search term let's say black so we are looking for product with the term black either in the column name or in the column color so let's check out the result here you can see you have 101 rows returning let's say you just want all product having the color black 
only in name. Let's delete this one and see what will be the result. 57 rows. So uh, let's put it back there. So this is how you can query multiple columns. To be able to do this, you your full text index must be configured to run against all columns. So let's see what columns are configured for my full text index. Here we have these columns, and as you can see, here the column, these are the columns that are eligible for full text search queries. So every column you want to use, you must select them here. Otherwise, you will get an error during query time. Let me show this. As you can see here, the column class is not uh, I didn't select the column class to be available for full text queries. So if I put this column in my queries, I should get an error. Let's see. We go here and then enter the column class. Run this. And now I get this error because the column class is not full text indexed. You can change this by going to uh, sorry, going to full text index and then properties columns select the column class. And then okay, now it's done. If you run the same query again can then we then get our result so it's also possible to enter stars in here so let's say you want to query all columns of a table that are eligible for full text index and you don't want to list them separately so you enter a star in there and everything then runs there you go and you get this we can use the contains predicate to search for words or phrases with a specified prefix all entries in the column that contain text beginning with the specified prefix are returned let's see how this works suppose we are looking for products that contains the term front and their name. The term front, front. So then we will then write a query like this one. Select name from production product. Well, now you should know what comes. Then we put the column name there and here we enter our what we are looking for front stars let's run this now we get all products and all text beginning with front let's see what happens if we do this we still get the same number of of rows back when doing full text search with prefix you should always use the quotation marks before you enter the term you are looking for including the asterisk because if the quotation marks are not there full text search does not consider the term to be a wildcard so let's say now you are having f rows and if you remove if you do something like this 
then we got 112 rows with every that contains every word beginning with the character F. This only works because we have double quotation marks here. If you remove those, then you will see uh, because the quotation marks are missing, full the full text search will not consider this F stars to be a wildcard search. So when we do this, we get nothing. We do this, we get nothing. We do this, we get nothing. We do this, we still get nothing. We do this. Now we get something because we have the exact word there, F R O N T, because we spelled everything out. But if you remove one, then it doesn't work anymore because there's no product with the word front in it. So always use double quotation when doing prefix search. A prefix term refers to a string that is affixed to the front of a word to produce a derivative word or an inflected form. For a single prefix term, any word starting with a specified term will be part of the result set. For example, auto will match uh, automatic or automobile and so forth. When you are using a phrase like let's say mountain bike then the result set may contain let's say mountains bikes or mountain or mountains bike or both of them and uh, when you use a phrase like this each single word is considered to be a Y card. So let, let me show you an example here. Uh, let's say select name from production. production project model production which one which one which one the product where contains name So here you have mountain bike and mountain bike. That's not what I was I was looking for. And let me look at production. Where uh, product and product description. 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 As you can see, here we have mountain bike and mountain bikes because bikes can be de derived from bike and this is how this works so every single term in your phrase will be used as a, as a single y card term and the result set will be merged and returned back to you so this is all for simple text search next we will see how we can do more complicated oh, not complicated but advanced advanced search with full text search on SQL Server. We can use the contains predicate to search for all the different tenses and conjugation of a verb or the singular and plural forms of a noun. Let's see how we can achieve this. 
we are going to search for all product description containing the word right or inflectional form of right so let's do this now we are going to select in let put production something with id production product description product description is this one contains now we are looking into the description column so we input our description columns here now we must use the forms of turn so to do it we input forms of here forms of and then we specify the form you want to use we want the inflectional form of the verb write. So, where contains, there we go, execution. Now we have a lot of rows here here you have write here you have writing so it's looking for all the conjugation forms of the verb write let's say you you were looking for road check right now we have 22 rows after making a small change here we still have 22 rows because writing write are all if are all forms of the verb wrote so we can also do this one let's say we input writing here and then we should have the same number of road rows in the result sets there we go same number of rows this is how you can perform inflectional search you can also, let's say we are looking for uh, winner, let's say winner. Then we have one here with winners because winners is the plural form of winner. Or let's say we are looking for mountains it's in plural and we get all rows containing mountains or mountain. Here we get mountain, the singular form mountain mountain but there is no plural form in there but you get the concept and this is how it works not see but sql server is unable to say that a car is a synonym for automobile or for let's say yeah, a truck stuff like that so to define a set of synonyms for a given word we first need to edit the thesaurus file that comes with sql server to do this we must go into the window explorer and find the file here first uh, this is the documentation about how to configure and manage thesaurus files for full text search and as already said you you must define this has a lot of text in it and you have to read it if you are interested in it here you can see where the thesaurus file are located they are for each language supported there is one thesaurus file they all start with ts like thesaurus file and a trilling three-letter language abbreviation 
uh, for this demo I will use this one the global one so I don't mess up everything so as you can see here you can see where the files the Tezeros files are located so I already pulled it out for me it's on the C program file my instance name MSQL and FT data this is our global Tezeros file then we will edit it and uh, just for the fun I declare an extend expansion set here so with an expansion set the first when we input so the first row the first item we can say the first item is the original word and everything coming after that are considered synonym for the first one so just for the fun of it I just input all my names here and then every time when you use SQL Server and then look for David it, it every row containing one of my names will then also appear will then also be returned um, let's look again into the documentation so after you have edited the Tezos file you still have to update it so SQL Server will be aware of it to do that there is one method somewhere here what's the name of this one let's see let's see let's see there's one method come full exactly so here is the description on how to edit the file you open it then you have to remove the comments you edit it you add either replacement set or expansion set expansion set are for synonym replacement set helps you remove terms completely so let's look back up here replacement set for example here the state for example suppose you want queries for windows 8 to be replaced by windows server 2012 or windows 8 so if you run a full text query for windows 8 the full text search only returns search term containing windows server 2012 or windows 8 so it will completely get rid of every rows it will not return any rows containing windows 8 but but only windows server 2012 or windows 8 if you are interested in it i will suggest you read this one carefully it's quite interesting so you can really go in there and tell out full text search for your application maybe you have some maybe you have some uh, so some customer that have similar names belongs to the same all belongs to the same company and you want that when you are looking for one that they are synonym for one another so now let's see uh, how to edit the file you edit it here you input there you save and then you have to exact this with the number of your language of, of the language we are looking for the lcid you can also find uh, the language corresponding you can find the code corresponding to your language in the documentation so let's say i want to add one more name here i'll say another sub and let's say i want that when user is looking for david that all rows also containing uh, i don't know let's say john sub are also returned so now we will save the file go back to sql server uh, copy this one
executed so we were editing the global file and the global file has the lc id of zero so now our file was updated i hope so so let's let's look into it let's say i am let's now query the table person select from person point person p let's call it p and then we will say we want p dash last name what else p point first name maybe and p point why not from table p first let's do like this where it, uh, first name equal david Now, 84 rows, as you can see, all first name are in here are David. I already edited this table and changed some of the record by removing David with my name. So I already run a query like this one, update. Person and then I just set the first name equal to my last name and then let's say this one. I would suggest you just play with the data in uh, just change the record to see how this will work for you it's quite funny to work with so one row was affected so now let's check where business entity equal this so Lewis Gimata so now There we go. When we are looking for David right now using the normal query, there's no there's no Gimatsa in there. But now if you then go back to use uh, the full text search, then we will do select. Let me I think I will just pick up this one. Put it here, delete this one from TV person where contains let's say you want all rows. Now we are back the forms, it's the forms, forms of we want the thesaur, thesaurus. There are some words in English. I can't. I just can't pronounce them. Oh, by the way, slow. Tesaurus. Tesaurus. Exactly. We are looking for David. So. see what we get now you see now the first name David is synonym to the first name John and this is what we inputted here so you can test this by removing this one saving the file executing this guy again 
and then running this. Now you will see there's no John in there anymore. But I already updated the file to contains to the record with my name, so you will still have stuff like this. But now you know how you can use it. Take a look into the documentation. I think everything is quite clear there, what you have to do and what are the use cases. Here you can also set for a song insensitive or not. It's quite, it's quite good, it's quite good. So this was it. Thank you.